Hey, welcome. So I have to tell you what I was working on in the last days. Because I have created a material pack and I have to show you here on my Gumroad. It is on my Gumroad. You can go on the browser and here you, ca you have two versions of my material pack. The simple one, simple material pack is free and there are a bit more than 100 materials, but just simple ones. And then you have the advanced material pack. There are a little bit more than 200 materials and this is for free. So you can just go there and you can download it and use it. But why do you want to have a material pack? So let me show you. Maybe you are currently on a scene in Blender 3.0. So this only works in Blender 3.0 plus because it uses the asset browser. Maybe you are in Blender 3.0 and you have created a new scene here. Let me shortly create something. So you've created a scene here. So now you've created a fast scene or your own scene. But now you want to have materials on it, but you are you don't want to create new ones because that takes time and it's just tedious because you've done it before. And there the texture pack comes in because we can import my pre-made uh, materials and then we can just drag and drop them onto our objects. So let us import it. So to import our materials we have to go to edit and to the preferences and now we on, are on the preferences and here we can go to the file paths and here are the asset libraries and we have to assign a new library so we can click on the plus and now it asks for for an file and this is the file you've downloaded from Gumroad and you just have to search for it then you are on the and you, then you can click add asset library and now it's assigned but there is no name why ever so we have to call it material pack you can call it whatever you want of course and then we can save our preferences now I can close this and now we can see if we would drag this window up and we would go to the asset browser oh no we can see nothing ah, that is because we are on the current file and we have not created in the current file materials and we don't want to so we have to go here to the material pack and there it is yes so let me show you some things in this material pack so let us go in order we have first the cartoon materials with different kind of resolution the first one with two steps and six steps I can show you this only in Eevee because cartoon is only working in Eevee it's the only material that's completely only working in Eevee because in cycles yeah it not interacts with light and nothing so that's not working uh, so the first thing we can add in Cycus is karamatic materials and there I've created some patterns some patterns you can use for floors in a house or for a rich family and yeah you can just use whatever you want I have also here some colors whoops some colors you can write me if you want to have more colors or different colors or if you want to have other kind of patterns or something like that I'm always open for feedback and I'm happy if you give me feedback then we have emission and you know what that is it's just simply emission, co uh, em em emission colors and emission does always look the best in Eevee because of bloom so we can maybe switch shortly to Eevee yeah, shortly is not that long blender and here we have to turn the world strength a little bit down because Nishita is not working in Eevee something like that and here you can see 
these are just simply emission materials and they work like that but you don't have to create new ones so this texture pack is focused on giving you also simple ones because simple ones you don't have to create simple ones your own that's just not worth it i've added a lamp here because we can we, when, when we are now in eb we can i can show you the cartoon materials because and that looks a little bit strange because the world is too bright and now you can see yeah it works i mean it has currently only one shade but that's because the lamp is not very bright and whoops so now it works like intended so the two steps have here two steps the monkey's monkey's not smooth shaded right yes looks a lot better and now it can interact with light and so on and so forth just like that and here you have different patterns like these ones so it's a little bit more wavy then you have this one that's a rough texture and you have this one that's a little bit more cartoonish and then you have all these kinds of colors and also these six steps so you have then more steps here that's also very nice and you have every kind of color just like that so you can use that in your scenes now and then we have here the extra materials and these are also very interesting because here I put in what I couldn't fit in the in the catalogs here so here are things like the carbon fiber that's one of my favorites this thing works in Eevee but it looks also the best in cycles and it is more realistic in cycles so yeah it looks like that that's for sure one of my favorites I turn on our background and if we would go to cycles that thing looks a lot more realistic just like that and since these are procedural you have endless detail in them so you can stretch and zoom in how much you want and you can also manipulate them in the shader nodes everything's possible here then i have some things that <laughs> also the glitter a, a, a big a big one and a small one this is the small and this does also look good in eevee because here we have bloom and yeah just like that you have simple glitter and you can just drag them in then we have the eyes and this is also a cool one and i have to point out some materials are those that make sense of course are animated like the eyes it is a little bit animated as you can see here not as much because it's of course not that much moving eyes so we have bright one and dark one i simply switch to cycles because it looks better in cycles and we have a dark one it looks better on a sphere because it's just too big for a monkey texture and then we have the lava texture and this looks also best in eevee because of bloom and we can just drag them these in and if you've one time used these textures it doesn't anymore shader compilate and this is also a really cool texture and it is moving so it's animated and then we have some skins and snow and the meat texture that was recommended in my comments <laughs> so thanks for that the meat texture is also interesting and then we have some some other things where i was experimenting with <laughs> and some skin colors they look currently a little bit weird but that's because of the monkey model some brightness and darkness and then we have the snow material and this one's also cool and the next thing is the fabric and 
this was a lot recommended so I've put some simple ones in here if you want to have more spe specific ones you can write me in the comments or give me feedback so here we have a pattern I think was interesting <laughs> you can use that and then we have the na native fabric this is just a simple fabric with lines you can see here but you can also use this on a couch or a curtain and it lo should look good then we have the wa wavy threads and this is like the the native fabric but with wavy threads as said as you can see here and you can do the same with this as with the other it looks a little bit better I think personally and then we have the this color and this reminds me of jeans a little bit so <laughs> you maybe use that as jeans and then we have the wall here and this only works in I mean it looks it, it works also in Eevee but it looks like crap let's be honest because we don't have the vector displacement in Eevee come on vector so we can drag that as you can see here it's just applying the colors and not the other stuff so let's go back to cycles and here we can see yay this looks good then we have different colors of course and then we have the glass and liquid and here are also some nice materials like the bubble and this is of course also animated so as you can see here I have to turn off wireframe and here we have all the glass and liquid materials just simple I want to rush this a little, bit, a little bit because we have we are already 13 minutes in and we are on the half of the materials so he, we have also a snowy water material it's also animated not as much because not realistic and we have water materials also animated of course and yeah looks like that a water big and a water small just like that then we have the ground materials and these ones are also interesting so we can view them in cycles and we have the basic ground which look like looks like that and we have the full grass and the half grass and then we have the sand material and this one's also interesting I really like that one and we have wet and muddy ground and also the stylus ground you can use that for <laughs> maybe <laughs> and stylized moon texture or something like that looks a little bit more interesting on curved things than it does on a plane as you can see here but yeah these are the ground materials and then we have the metal ones and here are also simple ones like the bronze uh, like the bronze and the gold materials and I have a gold with little imperfections and that means that on some spots it's a little bit more rough so like that it's clean and here it has a little bit more detail just like that and then we have the metal anisotropic and this is just so you don't have to create your anisotropic as you can see here the it's bending in different directions so now it goes like that so different degrees so you don't have to create your own then we have the rust one I have full rust and a little bit rust like this and then we have just basic colors and then some grid things for whatever you would use that maybe for a microphone and then we have the metal patterns and these ones are also interesting it's it's a little bit like some sky fi textures but I put it in metal because it is metal and this one's also nice some stars and then we have the plastic and these are just basic colors so also a time consumer also simple colors like black glossy and here are I have to tell you some some descriptions of my naming 
So this one is black and glossy. Okay, so that's self-explanatory. This is black and matte, also self-explanatory. This is medium matte. Makes sense. But then we have, why is it, normally it's that big. Then we have the blue thick and the blue thin. And this is something I have to, I have to tell you, so I turn out the word strength. And the thick one is without subsurface scattering and the thin one is with subsurface scattering. So it looks more thin. And this is with all things that are thin and thick. So this is thick and this is thin. Just like that. And this is with all colors. Then we have the Skyfire textures. And these are all animated. So if you have a sci-fi scene, you can use them. Or you can play around with them. They are really nice. These ones are my favorites. They look so nice. If they would be in real life, I would have them. Like that. I think it looks really nice. And then we have these stone materials. These are all pretty self-explanatory. Two simple ones, like the stone bright and the stone dark. And we have the sandstone and the firestone different stone types and we have the marble and this is for also for floor in a castle or something like that for a king and queen and we have the wood text uh, materials uh, like the birch and different colors of blanks um, I have first of all the oh yeah also good on the floor but we can use it also on the monkey, like the bright one and the dark one, two types of them. And we have the green one, red one, all those colors. And we have the wood material, brown and white. We can use the white one also here. And then we have the floor and the dark floor. I really like the dark floor. I think it looks really nice. And the last thing is the volume. And this is just a little bit fun I had <laughs> with volume. I don't know if you would ever use that, but I was using a lot the volume stars and maybe you too. So I put it in here. And these were first of all, all the textures, uh, materials, sorry. And if you want to have a time saver, you could just use my materials. If you want to have different kind of materials, just text me or write a comment. I will do whatever, whatever is possible in here. The link is of course in the description for these two material packs. This is the one, but the two different versions. And, and if you want to have uh, information still. Here I wrote some stuff on the product page on Gumroad. And here are also the materials listed. And I hope I forgot nothing. <laughs> but I think I said everything that's written here. But you can also write it again. And yeah, here on the bottom Request for more materials, patterns, colors are very welcome. And I agree with that because I wrote it. <laughs> and one difference is, I've, I, I've, I didn't said it before. Um, another dif difference between these two is that these are not animated. Those are animated. Those that make sense. And yeah. So this will be our, our next little project on this channel. And I hope it gets a nice community, community involvement. And yeah, thank you all for watching, leave me feedback in the comments, and see you later. Thank you.